Hello, I'm uh, Ben Crosland. I'm uh, representing Access at NAM 2012, and I'm here uh, with Sonic State to show you what's uh, coming up for OS5 for Virus TI. Now, the uh, first thing I'll tell you about actually is a little uh, treat we've got uh, for you guys who like to make your own sounds and uh, get deep into the mod modulation matrix. Is we've added uh, two more uh, features to this. Here they are. Envelope 3 and Envelope 4. And yes, that means we've got two new freely assignable envelopes at last in the virus. And uh, you can edit them here in the filter page. F is for filter. And uh, 3 is for Envelope 3 and 4 for Envelope 4. And uh, the next feature that we've added is here in the uh, Frequency Shifter section. You'll see that we've extended uh, the number of options here. And in fact, we're probably going to rename this by the time this software is released, uh, because it's, it's much more about filters now than it is about frequency shifting. And you'll see that we've got several new types here so far um, in two broad categories, that uh, crossfade and very slope. And I'll uh, tell you a little bit about these. OK, so the first um, one is this uh, crossfade filter. And this is presented in four varieties, the uh, one pole, two pole, four pole, and six pole. And this allows you with parameter one here to smoothly blend between a low pass filter. To a band pass. And then to a high pass filter. And uh, just like in our analog filters in the, in the uh, polyphonic filter section, uh, the one pole is uh, fairly interesting because uh, when you set it to 50% here, which gives us a band pass, uh, actually you'll find that the cutoff frequency has no effect on the frequency content of the sound at all. You might be thinking, well, what's the point of that? Uh, well, the point is that if you turn up the resonance, then that does work. And so by sweeping the cutoff frequency, we have a resonant filter that actually doesn't do any filtering. <laughs> Pretty uh, cool effect. Now, um, when you increase the number of poles, then things start behaving more as you'd expect. So let's just have a quick listen to the four pole. So that's the band pass. Through to low pass. And up to the high pass there. OK, so let's move on to the very slope filters now. And uh, this is um, a pretty new concept in, uh, in terms of filtering, because normally you're expected to select between, say, a two-pole filter and a four-pole filter. Uh, what we do now with parameter one, uh, we can uh, select a two-pole filter. Here, uh, at its minimum position, we have two-pole, low pass. But as you increase the, this, uh, this parameter here, you'll actually increase the number of poles smoothly up to four poles at center position and six poles at maximum position. So now you've got a very steep filter and a, a, a more shallow one here like this. And you choose any position you want in between to get the sound that you need rather than being forced to choose one thing or another. And then with the second parameter, you vary the slope of the filter. So at its minimum value there, we had the, um, uh, the say for example, with the four pole setting there, we've got 24 decibels per octave, as you'd expect. But if you increase this parameter, you, uh, it makes the, the, the knee of the filter, as it were, it makes it more shallow. And so at the full uh, setting of this, you end up with something that's more like one and a half decibels per octave or so. So, you know, a very shallow filter. Uh, so with this parameter at minimum and so the, this uh, slope at maximum, you end up with a, a very gentle filter. And at the other extreme, you've got a six pole brute that and you choose any, any position you want in between. So you can see you've got two very different characteristics there from the, uh, within the same filter type uh, and uh, any position you like in, in, in the middle of those. And we have uh, that in high pass and band pass. Uh, and um, this uh, we're hoping is going to uh, really add something to the uh, sonic palette of the virus, especially in terms of audio processing. It makes it effectively a filter bank here that we've got. Uh, so there, that's uh, what we got so far for OS5. Uh, I hope you enjoy that. It should be available soon. <laughs>